Same shit, same shit, different day. Yo, listen, y'all ain't gonna keep telling me. I keep asking all this question. Tyreek is Tasha's son. Y'all ain't gonna call it, but y'all can keep y'all can't keep calling it. I'm telling you, that's, Man, that's ghost son. Shut up. That nigga shot. Hey, you think you think this happening under ghost? Ghost, ghost, will have, ghost will no make sure. Hey, this rich, random rich kid who that is politicians and shit is not gonna just randomly get shot because you want to randomly call him a sucker and that's right, simp bitch. <laughs> It's your boy laughing that made him cute looking clean looking sexy. And of course, I'm joined here with the one, the only Unico. We ain't no day, Unico. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, pal. Uh man, listen. You gonna you gonna have to quit that ghost disrespect, man. I I I'm really not I'm really not. Really not yeah, you are. You keep on calling that boy Tasha's son. What are you trying to say? He are you trying to say he's irrational? Are you trying to say that? Because that's what Tasha is. No, Tariq is not, but he does make okay. He does do, what, what you have to say? say he he does do some things like 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 his pride at the end of the day does sometimes dictate his actions sometimes. But what Tasha did, what 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 pride did Tasha ever show? All she was was some two bit hood rat that knew how to cook. She the hood. Shot at Monet, which oh, that, was, that was different. That was different. That was different. That was impulsive. That was impulsive, and we hate impulsive bitches. That was impulsive. Y'all let us know in the comments. Who is Tariq more like to y'all? I've been you know, on the season. This is ghost, the he's ghost more than anything. He has the game plan down. It's just that sometimes he gets his emotions take over. And then, he, then he randomly just run that, up some man face. He was smart stuff. enough to figure out where the fuck she was at, right? He but then just the Tasha, there, he did one Tasha-like thing, be impulsive, and just like fucking a lawyer in a, in, a, in a parking lot or something, you know, this is impulsive, you know, just y'all, impulsive. Y'all let us know who is Tariq. This is going to be a running thing throughout this season, so y'all might well just... Who's right? Unico or Zelmay? Put that right. That's what I want the poll to be. Fuck all that shit you talking about. I'm right. I'm right. Not you. But if we that will be in my big three, by the way. And I'm going to give my two examples and all that when we get to the big three questions. Joe, before we get into my second big question, because I had to start out with my first one, because I that's going to be constant. And maybe not every week, but it's going to still be the question asked. Okay. But how do you feel about this episode? Um, it, it, it took our hand for it. took our hand and exactly. said, it's, it said, it's, it took our hand and it said, and, and then sometimes you kept on saying, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? You know, you ever, you ever just go somewhere with somebody you trust, an adult you trust when you were a kid, and you're just like, where are we going? Wait, wait, that's that's this is bad times for those type of examples. Um, you know, just just you know, like an Aladdin thing, you know, when he said Princess Princess Jasmine, do you trust me? She said, What? He said, Do you trust me? She didn't know where they was going, they was going on a magic carpet ride. And what ends up happening is when they got to the end of it, oh, okay, that's why we went through all that shit, so we could see this. And this show did a good job of like holding the attention. Yes, there were some times where it was like, "What are what are what are we doing this for?" Because we could definitely do without Brayden and uh, SZA. We can do we can do without that. I, well, I don't I don't think we need to. Question. We don't need to. We don't need to continue building that dynamic on this. I I get it. And also, we don't need. See, they learned their lesson from trying to do karaoke night with the song on the first episode of this season. So now they're just doing their own shit and it still sucks. So they're doing so 50 knows what he's doing. Nobody will ever be able to say, Hey, we stole this from y'all because they say it, it, it sucks so bad. Why would you ever take credit for this? So 50 got the right idea on that part of it. And fake Meg just dying on there doing her thing, terrible rapping. It was awful. But they did have a future type anyway. At the end of the day, it it it, it took me, it took us where we needed to go, which is right into the midseason. Uh Mid-season finale, so I'm excited to do that uh, for that. I think this was a good build-up for a lot of different things. We don't know which way it's going to go, especially after we saw the previews. But Zelmay, how about you? Listen, listen. I felt I like them. So it was slow moments. Mm -hmm. I would wish would have like, hey, you can we get on? But I like them. So overall, this is how I use the power. This probably this right before the season finale. The episode four usually do that. You get and they they we all know what they try to do. They try to put Diana with old boy. And try to like, oh, he the daddy. 
And then Tariq shoots him. And like, oh, did he shoot the baby daddy? No, Tariq is what you find out. The episode, which is not number one thing on the big move. But before we get to that, I do want to ask this. How is Brayden still allowed to do apps? He was in front of the Senate <laughs> talking about his drug dealing app. And he made a new one. <laughs> like, is the government not monitoring him? <laughs> How does he keep making apps? You know, I wasn't even thinking about that because after watching, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, A Quiet Place, day one, sometimes you just got to let the answer be because. Because. Why are they here? Because. Why they, Why do they just listen all day for shit to attack? Because. No No. No real reason. They, what, what's their motive? Because. So that's where we at. Just let them have the app and let's just... Let's keep this 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 thing going. Let's he was right in front of the Senate before last season talking about him doing mm-hmm. a drug dealing out. He got suspended from school for doing a drug dealing out. They now, literally like, moved out school. They literally moved, the school in they literally moved out. around. They literally move around as if none of these things that happened so many episodes ago, starting with Ray Ray's murder, like 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 they act like none of this is even a thing anymore. Nobody. Oh, and don't. Oh, I can't wait till we get to Mister 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 Ely. Oh, he's starting to show his inner Drake. I I can't stand niggas like him. Oh, yeah, now, now he came off as cool, but anyway, we'll get to it. We'll get to that later. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I want I want y'all to answer this question too. How to, listen? Because out of everything Joe said, at least somehow Tariq has been found innocent. So he can all the time, him. every time. But Brain was literally found guilty. <laughs> he was literally guilty. His father got him out of jail. And he's, and he's literally still doing the same. He's doing the same exact move, matter of fact. He is putting drugs in the bottom of cups still. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not coffee cups this time. Fan cups. <laughs> like, right, it's the same which, move. Which I, which, I see the, which I see the overplay for this. They can get If they can get this terrible-ass musical group off the ground here, and all these people have all this merch on their Instagram, I mean, don't, don't, stop doing all this. Stop, stop. You can't see the shots, so stop. No, no, not right there yet. No, no, no. I was at the party. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is kind of right. This is kind of right. No, it's not. No, it's not. This is right after the app. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. You're doing a terrible job of transition pictures right now. No, 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 no. Let us know if that was not after the app. After the app explanation. This was This was literally the But But it's not into the end. No, because it's not leading up to the main points of the show, man. It's that that's a main point of the show. We can talk this about the app. Question. We can talk about Braden. We can talk about Braden right now, but that's not what we're not here to talk about that part yet. I think what we can do is move on from Braden. Oh, like, move, hot, let's though. move on that's from Braden. That's that's Braden's, that's Braden's thing. That's Braden's thing. Yo, you ever had a girl do like just kiss cocaine? On that's Braden's. Body? That's Braden's thing, or a guy named Braden's kind of thing. So with that being said, uh, moving moving on, not quite getting into Tariq all the way yet. Save that to the end. Hey, I still, still, Joe want to save it to the end. Can we say this? Woody was acting his act something. He said, now let's talk about something that we can talk about that has nothing to do with the end of the episode for a second. Let's talk about the Tejadas. So we do have the confirmed pregnancy, right? We got that. We got the confirmed pregnancy from Miss Diana. Uh, we got. Monet giving us flashbacks. Not not there yet, nigga. Damn. Stop you, you, fucking you with the last six minutes of the fucking episode. You described yes. the, describe the scene. No, I <laughs> didn't. literally the same scene, Joe. No, we're... So this is really the here, scene where he found out he was pregnant. Let's, 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 let's do this. You know what she said no, right there? She said, no, 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 let's do this. Let me fuck this duck and you count the quacks. Let's try that this episode. So here's the deal. And you just try and click on the appropriate appropriate picture for said scene and then we'll talk about it so let's go into the tejadas now you brought in kane kane said that he need he need eyes on drew so people put eyes on drew but this he apparently he didn't need them he found them himself because he's like oh this nigga told me about a stash spot that we that we had because drew had to drop off diana to Salim's crib. Ooh, she pregnant. Whose could it be? Salim's or yeah. They... See, now you rocking with me. Okay. Now you're not being all like a family guy cutaway. This reminds me of the time I saw Salim. No, stop. Listen, so so this is where we at. So 
I didn't expect to see. Here you go, fucking around, man. See? <laughs> that nigga go. Am I on pranked? Am I on pranked at this point? This nigga's not, this nigga's doing, he's not doing the Lord's work. He's, but, but here's the Lord's work right here. So let's take it back a little bit further. Let's, let's start. Oh. So, so eyes on, eyes on Drew. Diana, Miss, I'm the smartest one in the family, decides to say, All right, Drew, let's go to a hotel and use mom's credit card. <laughs> Drew's like, Nigga, I know you did not. You didn't pay with cash. He... So Monet does what she does best. And she asked the man politely, Tahada, where's the room? And he acted like, I mean, come on, look at this. Come on, everybody know this type of motel office. Everybody know that. I don't care who you are. I don't care how holy or sanctified you are. Everybody know this kind of, this is the hotel. It's a motel, but it's a hotel. We know what this is. You only really supposed to pay. You pay for a night, but you only spend an hour there. That's what this is. We call some preachers in the one of these. Uh, 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 if, you, if you go back and look at some of our reviews of uh, that one girl that killed that one lady with an um, uh, uh, axe. Remember? Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch killed that woman. Yes, shout out to Scarlet Witch. I forget the movie's name of the show. But yeah, anyway, they was at a, they, she used to meet up and do her thing at the motel with dude and then make fresh cookies and all that type of shit. Anyway, uh, took place in like the 70s. Weird shit. I just saw the name in my head. But anyway, so yeah, they're at the motel. They're at the motel. They're doing the thing. All right, cool, 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 cool. And, and then it's like, yo, you spent money using mom's card she was keeping an eye on that card activity why would you spend monet's money knowing that she's looking for you so she's looking for all transactions going across her phone found you this is what was weird to me after she allowed for drew to make a dynamic speech about mom you ruined us like like we we got a flashback we got a flashback of yeah go ahead right now is a good time for that she slapped the shit didn't nigga. Drew had to catch a Drew caught a body and she did acted. She was so unbothered. Your son, your child that was supposed to be at the art competition, art show, he just caught a body. And, and that's how you react. Nigga, quit crying. He was coming for us. What? Nigga, I just wanted to draw today and show all my drawings. And so that took took him on his she took him on his first transaction and dude was disrespecting Monet. Okay, we get it. Monet is tough on him. They took away young Monet's actress and put put Mary J. Blige back right into it because they're older now, apparently. And <laughs> she has the same wig. And um uh, <laughs> you know, she got that eye covered it, man. You know, she had that eye covered ever since that was that one uh video where she had was, was talking about domestic abuse. But look, come on, man. Wait, 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 what are we doing? Monet. What is Monet doing, man? Yo, Monet is out here wilding, getting shout out to Jazz, the, the cousin. He's like, listen, you don't know your own kid. Janet. And call, she called her Jazz, but it's Janet. Jay. Oh, go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Man. I'm trying to make sure you locked in, man. Are you locked in tonight, man? Listen. Are you locked in after this great ass episode? Are you locked in or what you listen, doing, man? Y'all niggas took two. <laughs> But you need to lock the fuck in, man. Come on, lock in, man. Come on. This was this show game. has been very entertaining right now. I just want you to know this episode right, right now. But yeah, basically, she told her you don't you didn't know your daughter pregnant. She said she was what? So you you ain't been paying attention to your kids so much you couldn't even tell. And I could, which kind of hit her in the feels. You know what I'm saying? Got her enough feeling, which led to a lot of other situations. And now she's trying to figure out certain situations in which. I should say they are slowly making Drew turn to a supervillain because that nigga is slowly turning it. Because basically what happened is he finds him again. Woody A.K. Kane finds him again and be like, it's time to kill. I, Mom, I got, and then she calls at the perfect time, by the way. He's going to pull the trigger. And somehow Monet calls right when he pulled the trigger and said, Mom, I got him. Don't shoot him, boy. I got him. Put him on the phone. So she puts him on the phone. He tell him don't kill him. And basically Drew was like, Oh, you a mama's boy, nigga. Yeah, he's getting he's getting that a lot nowadays. You, so you just do what Monet tell you? I'm like, bro, you were just talking about don't shoot me 30 seconds ago. <laughs> and now you're like, oh, you a mama's boy, you ain't gonna do it. 
So Kane do what he does. He whoops Drew all the way through everywhere and every bit of the <laughs> store. Somebody just in the store breaking shit with no no security cameras going off and nothing. Yeah, that happens often in this show. No mask. <laughs> just, just fighting in the store with a gun pointing at each other. <laughs> not even, not even to be to be fair, the person who owns the store is dead. <laughs> That's true. They, 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 I don't know. I don't even know who's running that establishment at this point. Like they just they just choose to go to the store. Just go here. They like, like 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 fifty fifty cent was like, hey, we still got this for a couple of uh, we still got this for a couple of more years. We got the lease on this man. Yeah. And like I said, throughout this episode, I think came from the emotion of like, let's jump don't... back to that. Like since we're talking about the brothers, let's talk about this scene right here. Yo, Kane caught him. He didn't want to shoot Drew. He, I want eyes on him. And if, if you get eyes on him and losing him, you got a target on your back, too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yo, he broke down, bro. Like, y'all forgetting. This is her first um child that she was able to claim out loud. So this is her oldest child. Um, And he finally, like, breaking character and kind of cried for a second. And honestly... We we know Kane is a fucked up individual, and actually, you kind of feel sorry for him. I felt sorry for him a little bit, like especially it all started with the gun in the car and put it under my son. Like he was meant to be a fucked up individual, and the fact that Monet can t- Monet's a fucked up mom, man. Which I was it Jazz told him it's enough to make me say fuck my family. If you like, if I just go back and look back at my life and be like. Damn man, Ma had us, Ma had us bagging up dope in kindergarten. Like that's the, and then the thing <laughs> is, they don't even they, they, like Drew didn't even become one of them weird ass niggas that like would just be like, man, I've been bagging up dope since I was. No, nah, he was just like, no, nah, for real, I really just want to draw. I want to be an artist. That's all I want to do. But yeah. Yeah, that that scene happened, and then also, Kane got kicked out. I mean, not Kane, but Drew got kicked out of the penthouse per Kane's orders after getting his ass beat by Kane because you cannot whoop your big brother. But I think that Drew at this point he ready to come at Monet because he talked about everything he lost because of Monet. He lost, he lost uh, Diego. Uh, <laughs> hey, that boy name I forgot his name. Gordo. He he lost Gordo. Gordo. He lost Gordo. He lost Poppy. Um, and then so, he lost he lost he lost uh his brother, his big brother. And then he lost he lost Everett because of this life. He, he lost, lost a lot of stuff, man. He did all because his mom. All because his mom. And, and by the way, was- Drew makes us. I I had a bunch of clips of Drew, and I wanted to show them, but they all is literally making the same exact face. So I deleted them. He makes this face every time. I mean, you you literally could have done like a cool ass like slideshow. Look at it. Not look at him. Now he's not so scared. He's he see he gets uppity, right? When he feels like he has an upper hand, he starts talking slick and shit. But then he just, <laughs> That's a minute but then he just like, uh, brother, you don't want to do this. And, and then he immediately Monet got his don't... ass beat. And then Monet was like, "Don't kill him." He's like, "Oh, you can't kill me now. You a mama's boy, bitch." I'm like, "You were just scared thirty seconds ago, sir." You cannot switch up. He got his ass beat and was told verbally to get out the penthouse. So, <laughs> like, like, man, you, you can't, man, man, dude, you've been pepper sprayed this season. Um, I, I, Drew is, why do you think? Now, because, because Kane brought this up. He said that Lorenzo chose him at, to be the number two. Why do you think that? Like, why would he choose Drew over Kane? Yes, Kane is a wild, is a cannon, a loose cannon. I, but, think, I mean, Drew is I, a emotionally unstable I, person. He does doesn't I, actually have his heart in this I, shit. I think Drew wants to. I think he actually knows Drew wants to leave. Even in the situation now, he is keep voicing every time I'm nobody number two. Yet he's kissing on Noma, being a number two. No, no, no. He told her we partners. Don't don't get it twisted. Let's be real. He even told his mom his partners a whole show, and he still knew what she said. Let's not pretend. <laughs> even in this episode, you're like, "Mom, I got the shot." No, nigga, shit, <laughs> put the gun down. 
And then Drew called my mama's boy. He still didn't shoot him. He was like, yo, mama told me to touch you. Well, you got to put on looks for mom to let her know, like, I was down, mom. I was going to shoot him. You told me not to. Like, he had to do that. Sometimes you got to nah. play. You got to play for the camera sometimes. No, no, Drew. No, nah. you know, Drew, Drew crazy enough to want to be a leader, even if he don't want to do it. Kane is always a father. Sometimes you have, you know somebody in your life, everybody do, who can't really lead. They a dope person. They really get their job. But they can't be the leader of the team. He's too they really good at what they do. They good at what they do. Like, if, like, like. If, like if, he, if, 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 what's the plan? If, if, what's the plan? Tariq, what's the plan? <laughs> Tariq, what, what's the plan? Even though he hate Tariq, if Tariq come over the plan, he gonna go with the plan because that's who he is. <laughs> I think that Kane is yeah, more right or less. Two. Kane like, is more or less. Tommy, Tommy is one of them too. Tommy is one of them. No, Tommy got good plans. And I mean, he you made, got plan, he, but made, he, made he made he made man in Chicago. He's the brains of all, everything. So he let's still, not play he that. Still no, appears he appears to be the number two. Who's who's he the number two to? Oh. Tommy. I'm talking about in Chicago. He's 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 basically top bro. Tommy would have had crazy. A, you Tommy, are you are. Go sick. back and look at force. You are starting a war. If he, matter of fact, Tommy playing got his girl kidnapped by her own brother. Talk about. It. No, oh, that happens. That happens. That happens. But who's everybody in this? Everybody in the series is scared of him. What are you talking about? They always he's every most people are scared of Kane. Oh, that's fair. But he's but but Tommy actually calls shots. Kane does not. He Kane just tells corner boys. Corner that. boys are scared of him. Corner boys are scared of him. Nobody in real power is worried about Kane. Tommy Egan is insane. Ghost had to calm him down up repeatedly. That's why it's weird when he's the number one, when he was number one in the show for that first season. We were all like, this is weird. Because <laughs> it looks like he just, he's a wild card. You can't let a wild card be a leader. That's why Force was off the first season. Then he got old boy to be a partner with him, even though he's not in charge of Tommy by any means. But he's still a oh, person who looks man, Tommy, Tommy makes the plays on Force. What are you talking about? He got the whole south side on fucking lock. But if who? But who appears to be the leader in the game? Tommy. Who's the other people? Tommy. No, who they talk to? They be like, "Hey, the white boy ain't gonna be running." They scared because yeah, they scared. They they won't tell Tommy that. <laughs> they won't tell Tommy that, will he they? And that's his girlfriend, and then called him. <laughs> I don't think he's scared of him. He which, kidnapped. Way, I don't know he, kid, gonna... he kidnapped his sister. Which is wild. That's a okay, wild nigga. Thing what you talking talk about? Like that's the easiest play in ever. Hey sis, I need some. I need some diabetic medicine. I need some diabetic medicine. And then she comes over because that's her brother. And like I know you've been fucking with Tommy, that white devil. And then they, they, they go, "Come on, man, that's too easy. Don't man, don't play Tommy like that." Tommy runs Listen. Chicago in in force right now. Listen, Not in real life, show, my Chicagoans. No, nah, I don't mean it the, like that. Look at the show felt awkward because Tommy was in charge the first. It time. did not feel awkward. It he was just awkward. running shit, and he did it from a violent standpoint. But also, and which it, which caused gang war. But it's but awkward. no, but no, 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 no. I don't think he caused a gang war. It's just man, it's, it's a lot of subtle racism, and that's the first time I feel bad for white racism at this point. Tell me, I said it. he just shoots people in. No, because he he put himself in there. He always says, all right, yeah, motherfucker, you can shoot me right now. Put himself in harm's way. Yes, you can kill Tommy right now. Or do you want to make this money? And this is how we can make it. And his plan always sounds good to where they don't kill Tommy. They go make money. Come on. Stop doing that. You do this. Listen, listen, we gotta do this. Go, everybody, you, you go, watch, this. go watch for stop us again it. and tell me, does it not feel awkward when Tommy's in charge? You just ne you never know what's going to happen. But like, he's got a plan. I've been Come calling, on, the man ran, into, calling, ran his ran his car into a gas station to fake his own death. Come on, stop it, man! Stop it, man! Stop, it. man! Get Tommy Egan some credit, man! Stop it. Listen, Tommy. Tommy is the best number two that ever was. There's two millionaires that's hunting each other around the city, dressing up as each other. Ghost and Tommy. They going around dressing up as UPS men and all type of shit, and still trying to run operations and Drew also Drew. trying to kill each other. Come on, man! Oh, that was way better than Drew versus Kane. That was. I don't know. Drew, Drew. I don't think Ghost would have killed Tommy if it if he was that close. I don't think Ghost would have killed Tommy, but Ghost would have found Tommy. Yo, I still need. Hey, yo, I still miss. It. Like y'all keep. Let's go back to this question, which also listen. listen Ghost told Tate, "Listen, you think they nicknamed me Ghost, and you gonna see me coming? We everybody see Tariq coming. He literally walks through your front door and puts a gun in your face, like Tasha." 
<laughs> Run me receipts. Okay, Keisha. <laughs> but she didn't. She didn't. He ran into the house through the front door. And he told, no, 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 no. But that is remnant. That is reminiscent because Tasha, I mean, not Tasha, but Keisha tried to take the gun from Tasha. And Tasha did what she had to do. And then that's what, and then that's what, <laughs> and that, and Tariq in this situation he said, why did you do that, man? He, you instigated him. No, he, no, you just supposed to have that gun to you and then don't try and fight back. Yeah. Just, just tell me. Like, and then you call him a pussy simp. No, 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 no. Well, that probably incited him. He was like, no, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take see see that's see that's see as smart as that dude's supposed to be, and he's gonna survive, by the way. That way that gunshot wound was, I think he survived. And then Ghost would have shot him like, damn, I messed up. And then shot him in the head to make sure he did. Instead of let him hold his chest like this. Yeah, I I I think I think that he, he goes off and he says to Tariq St. Patrick shot me in my own home. That nigga house was nice, man. Over there, <laughs> it was a very nice house. That was a very nice house. That shit was dope. in New York, in the heart of man, heart of Manhattan, or wherever the fuck he's at. And man. we found like he got rich parents, so you know it's gonna get like horrible for if he actually lives. <laughs> and understand, y'all, Greenwich is in Connecticut, and that's where they say Triple H, Triple H came from. Hunter Hearst Helmsley back in the day, they say he's from Greenwich, Connecticut, and he came from money. So that's how we know. So he's from Connecticut, and. Or not from Connecticut, but his parents' house is at least in Connecticut, and his parents is in Caicos and all that shit right now. Uh, luckily for Miss Tejada, Diana, who is currently with child. Uh, again, it's still not certain if she slept with... Let us know. Do, you, do y'all think that she slept with Salim or no? Listen, she didn't even... Because I can't remember. I know they was at the candy shop. Or no, actually, they was in her dorm room. So what if it's yeah. Salim? Cause that would be that's a fifty cent ass plot twist. Make Tariq think that it's his kid, but it's really Salim shit. I think they would have. I think I don't think they would have did this scene if it was. What is that? Don't you, then you say you like kill my baby? You kill my baby daddy. Think about it. That's the first person she went to, and then it's like, oh, it's his kid. She gonna tell him, and then Tariq shoots him at the end of the episode in his parents' house with a gun to her head. She's gonna say, Tariq, I'm pregnant, and it's your baby, and my and your mom's right. Why she didn't you. tell Salim at all? She didn't mention to mm. And Salim was like two semesters ago. That's like a whole year ago. That's freshman year. Oh no! Can we talk about this messy ass bitch that likes to put eyes on people that don't mind it for for the same fee? <laughs> he do. He found out everything. He this don't bitch, ask questions. He just sent it to everybody. Y'all ask this y'all. bitch is messy. <laughs> this bitch is messy. I'm trying to tell he, you. He start family wars and everything. Everything. Don't. And all. 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 All he does is take the cash out. He said, hey, you sent the money. I don't care what y'all do. Y'all can y'all can hate each other. I need to go back and see where this started at, where this motherfucker became a super spy. I need to go back to that. He worked with Drew them, didn't he? Yeah. Is that where it started at? I know. I don't know if it started there, but Man, he hold on. Drew, What's Mr. I remember the old the, the dude that um he found the dude and the, the black dude that was in the little office that was with his boyfriend. What's the, hold on? What's Miss Thing's name? You remember that when the dude was his, no. was his boyfriend and he was going down the glass steps outside the building? Hold on, I'm typing in some very. He stabbed him. In, he stabbed him. In. I'm I'm typing in very. Uh, I wouldn't want y'all to see my 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 history. Um, in regards to how I'm typing this out to look up who this person is. <laughs> um. This- she it's, didn't do nothing in this episode, but this was our little simple. Oh, uh, now you done changed it to, to she. See, I told you it's gonna do it like that. Uh see, see, we we love a toxic bit. Uh they won't immediately say it. I they're not they're 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 hiding it. They're, they're hiding, hiding it. the information. You are hiding. I, I, I have right, you are it. hiding a child. Okay, it says it looks like there's not much info available about an Asian spy in Power Book Two Ghost. So okay, okay, so yeah, for disclaimer, that's what I typed in Google. <laughs> um, what is his name? What is what is what is our friend's name? Because I actually don't know. Like, just show up and like, hey, and I oh, don't. Ta- like- oh, 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 Taiwanese Wu Kang Ren. Let me see. Let me see. That right, hope it, hope it got it's right. Gonna be I hope a while. I hope, okay. Oh, 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 it's Wu Tang Ren. Oh, if it's, it's gonna be a while. okay. Wu Tang, okay. Wu Tang Ren is 41 years old, by the way. 
um, plays. Um, does not look 41, by the way. Good for you. Um, uh, it's not telling us. Well, y'all let us know in the comments if you remember the name. And remember how it started? Let's we watch too many TV shows. Sometimes it gets lost in them. So they're like five, four. They're like five versions of Power Out with BMF and thirty movies <laughs> and House of the Dragon. It's not too much. We got Lores. So let us know in the comments who y'all do. And don't forget, while you're at it, too, like and subscribe. You know what I mean? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I don't know if this is like some kind of Korean thing, but they won't talk about the fact that he's involved in like a black film. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, for real, like I'm looking to, or, oh, oh, I'm sorry, this is Taiwanese, so. Um. That's how that, that this fits. Just this scene, just looking at you right now. That's how our audience is looking at you, Joe. Ah, uh, that's that's no, like I no, because you know what you know, Joe. You know who you are. You like the dude that come in my house and just eat my food after we just been friends for a little bit. You know what I mean? You are a guest. <laughs> he told this thing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. If you want to, if you want to do this, let's do this. Because first and fucking foremost. Now Michael Ely is going back into his corny ass light skinned nigga bag. Was that he that that created his um his character uh in the late 90s and early 2000s. This nigga's corny. He was like I, I, he was formidable in the first couple of episodes, right? At this point, he's corny. I do wonder, like, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't think he had enough TV time for us to know his character. And it's weird because his like character just went from like maniacal, intelligent dude who's playing the game into some dude who like, I only do it my way. What you talking about? She's like, hey, this dude friend is with him, and I know the play, and we can get him. He's like, nobody care, stupid mother. Yeah, this is <laughs> like, what? What kind of detective are you? What kind of task force? Are you, you know just, what we gonna you, do? Instead of finding leads and somebody else, let's go straight to the two people. And are tell you them that they trying to kill each other? And exactly. Like, exactly. And then Tariq and Monet are like, yeah, we did. We we hunt. We know already. We, you know what? Sometimes <laughs> people, you know what? Sometimes people put themselves in positions so that they can just always be in that position without actually doing anything. This man just went into Monet Tahada's crib. After Miss, after Jay, Janet, Jazz, however the fuck we want to call her, the nurse lets him in. She doesn't have a warrant, so this is all just all against hood code starting off. Like he does not come in the house and just sit at the table that Lorenzo and Mecca sat at while y'all ate fried chicken and nothing Mexican ever. Y'all never ate any Spanish food, Hispanic food, by the way, during this whole season. Anyway, moving on. And then you just gonna grab her apple, her green apple out the middle. Of her, and then tell her that, oh, y'all big time. Dr- oh, excuse me, I mean up and coming. Man, these niggas got penthouses. <laughs> like, what are we? What are we doing here? What are we doing? They have a modest home in New York. And then he just comes in here doing. Oh, we'll be talking again. All he does is tell people that he's gonna talk to him later, and next time it'll be in cuffs. Like, like, man, just. He he's so corny, man. Michael he Ely put a as, man in as jail. an actor is corny. I, I want to see how he don't know Obi gone. Like he like yo Obi, I'm gonna talk to you later, and he never. He never. never like, you're never gonna see Obi again if he goes. Never down. even asked where Obi. What happened to Obi? He just like oh yeah, we forgot about him. I'm like I, I need a phone call. Oh, do you know how you can catch Tariq? Call. Find out how Obi died and why he died for the green card, and link it to Tariq. No, we not caring about Obi no more. I'm finna go directly at the source and threaten them repeatedly. I'm, and I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. We're building up to a great segue here in a little bit, but let's 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 continue to delve into this. So so first of all, let's talk about Councilman Tate's brother and how fucking short he is. <laughs> He's always going to be the little man in every situation. Like man, when he would pull up on Tariq, he was Tariq was like, "Who's this little ass nigga? Who's this little bald head ass nigga <laughs> with the chin strap?" <laughs> with the chest strap going on. 
<laughs> like, yo. And then he even talks like a little person. No offense to little people. But he's like, hey, hey, Tariq Tate Patrick, is that you? I need to talk to you about Sam. Man, you are, you, I am not intimidated by you at all whatsoever. You are shorter than me. You are shorter than me. Hey, hey, you talking like this. I, I don't want to hear that shit, man. That man said, I got something to do. <laughs> Every, hey, hey, it's, but speaking of this, why are we on Stanfield's campus for a second? Man, why does everybody keep going? Why does everybody just go to Diana's room? Everybody can get in that bitch. Don't nobody care about the lady in all the Chanel walking up, walking up the steps of the dorm and just walk. Don't nobody care about the nigga that clearly don't belong there just walking up the steps. The, the 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 um R R A right is it was a room or A R what they call the dormer the dorm the dorm person whatever that runs shit bro listen they had a bunch of people with guns just walk through the front door and they didn't do bro y'all was tripping about the music when old girl was high as hell B G is upset about that B G is in jail with 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 like seasons season one. <laughs> Tariq. He is very mad right now. He is he is very upset. He is visibly upset. This episode is missed. Look at this. Look at this. Tariq, tell him how you feel. That's how Tariq feels. This is how you feel. Man, look he's looking, look he's looking for Diana. He look how Mikey Ely Look at how Mikey oh. looks at you. Look how Mikey Ely looking. You made Mikey Ely look like this. I hate smug Michael Ely. Oh, fuck the character. His, his, beard, is not, Ely is, hey, his, beard, his beard was on point, though. It's not he's, point. Been, he's been smug his whole career. This nigga thought he was all that in a bag of chips because he was a light, lighter skinned Iverson in barbershop. Get out of here. I can't stand smug Michael Ely. I'm sorry. Much love, Michael Ely. I'm glad that you're still getting opportunities on Broadway and film. I can't stand smug Michael Ealy. I can't. I hate this face. <laughs> Let me turn on Michael Ealy. Is that what you're doing? Go watch Barbershop and show has, and so, to show them how terrible of an actor he actually is. How corny he is. Michael Ealy is corny. No, he didn't have picked it up. Just, just how he plays his characters. He might actually be like a cool man, bro. I just did what Cube told me to do. He might be like that. He might be cool like that. Man, his characters, I can't stand it. 50 might be like, hey, act corny like you was in Barbershop, but except you a detective now. Yo, man, I want to know how his I do. I do. Joe brought this up, and I just thought about it. I'm like, you went from the praying nigga who was like an assassin, like, father, I have to do what I have to do. I'm like, oh, he a murderer, murder. He might just kill people to get to. Oh, I forgot we started off with. See, now it makes him even more corny because I wasn't even really paying attention to that part. Now that I think about it, that was corny. Yeah, the, like the, the, the cross. Father. Father. Listen, we appreciate it. That was like a cold scene from all. Uh, father. I know, I know ain't nobody going to come in here and be related to a murder victim that I knew in the past. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> my son, he was, Angel, he was killed. Oh, by the way, why is Michael Ely able to do all this illegal thing? He just do illegal stuff. He arresting people without any call. You he's like, oh. <laughs> he's just like, hey, I'm putting you in cuffs. You like, why you... can't do that. Somebody said you did something. That's all we need. Did you not get a warrant from a judge? We don't need no warrant. I know you... people in the law. I know people at the bar. What? <laughs> what? That's still not can't... illegal. That you literally matter. can't manipulate court proceedings in people's like. If you did, you still had to go through the process. He just got a word from somebody and like, oh, we finna go to their house right now. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, no, you have to do a process. Sir. What made 50 Cent be like, I need Michael Ely to do this. There's nobody else that I can get to do this. Or maybe we won't feel that bad when he finally takes his final like, he got The girl gonna go crazy. He got blue eyes. He like, Nobody's going crazy about... This is 2024, not 2002. Listen, he already listen. Do you see how crazy they're going there with Method Man? You go, going up. Girls now, Method Man, Method Man. no Diddy, that. he's standing the test of time. All right. <laughs> no Diddy, he's standing the test of time for sure. But, and that shows me that black don't crack for sure. For sure. I see I, black don't crack every day. I look in the mirror. But see, them light skinned folk, they got a little, little, little crack in the DNA. Well, I already said Monet gave a performance in episode one and two. She gave a hell of a performance. And this episode, Woody Kane gave a hell of a performance. It was uh, Kane. 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 Kane probably had the best performance. Yeah. So, Mike um, even still ain't had that performance yet. He just some dude who do random like he have random bipolar outbursts. 
<laughs> but I tell you what, before we get into my favorite part of the episode that made me say, oh shit, it's about to go down. Uh, let me just look outside my door to see if there's anything worth barking about. Give me one sec. It's very dangerous for you. By the way, let's t- while I'm doing it, we're gonna get into why I think this question is relevant. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Let, let me go, let me go full screen real quick. This is why this question is relevant to me. And I'm gonna go over my points. And I need y'all to answer me. Y'all don't need Joe to answer this because he didn't say this point. He talked it down. Tariq is Tasha's son. Y'all can argue. We can argue this. But let's go over the first one. My boy Tariq was messed up over the guy who was tripping ball because he said it's yours. We can talk about it now. We're going to get into it more in the show. But he was tripping. Ghost wouldn't trip. He's like, we got to take care of this. We got to do our thing. You know what I mean? Also, he just ran away. The man just ran away. You know what I mean? He just ran away. He didn't even try to handle the situation. He just ran. Then he just, Celine, he just shoots him randomly in the house. That is Tasha behavior. But I but I got to be fair. I got to give him ghost behavior. I got to give him some ghost behavior too. The whole thing about he knew it was Noma's daughter and he flirted with her at the end of the episode. This is this is a hundred percent right here. You know what I'm saying? This is a hundred percent ghost behavior right here. You know he doesn't have no reason to do it, but it's still ghost behavior. Let's secure another plan in case some stuff with our plan can't plan go wrong. Let me just stick it to it. Again, his vengeance is kind of getting his way of being Tasha again, so it's kind of Tasha. This is more vengeful. You know what I mean? This scene is more vengeful. Let me go get it because I gotta get back at all these people that got at me. I gotta get it back in blood. Diana, I can't let her go. Until, of course, I find out she my baby now got to be emotional and run off and start smoking and drinking, even though I don't do this. But I got to take the product because I'm going through life right now. And I make horrible decisions, like my mama. But I got to give him that. Take, finding advantage of this and taking advantage of, his, of the daughter is a way to secure a win if things go left. I always have a backup plan. Matter of fact, it's a way to protect you if things go wrong. You know what I mean? This is a ghost move. So I do have to give him a ghost move. I think the way he handled Celine, I think the way he handled Diana and Monet and all them situations was very Tasha-like. I think a lot of these situations he does is Tasha-like, but this is a ghost situation. So I do want to give him a ghost situation. You know what I'm saying? This is going after Onion. What y'all think? Are we, were we correct early in the season when y'all go through the episodes and we're like, he will be... In a scenario where he gonna get onion, cause he a hoe, he a man hoe, he a man hoe, and that's what he do. He has to if a girl show up on the show, he almost always has to sleep with her unless she's very unimportant. And then all the unimportant characters that he gets, we'll go to Brayden. Brayden get do all me, the. Can you do me a favor real quick, man? What's that? Can you just go back to when he noticed? Can you go? Can you go back to that picture when he noticed? <laughs> Yes. I gave him this, I gave him this a ghost look. This a ghost look. Yes. I did give him a ghost yes. look. But yes. He had, but he had three yes. Tasha points, though. I got, for me, he gave me three Tasha points, one ghost point. This a ghost point. This is 100% a ghost point, though. I will give him a ghost point for this. This this is a ghost point. Can this? Can he get a bonus point? Can he get a bonus two ghost point for the Man, he he said he was ready to drink and smoke, right? But you know what I mean? I, I, I gave him a Tasha point because he finally had a baby, but... But he still but, went in his mind and got the little bit of ghost came out of him. That's his 30% eye, ghost. Man, his <laughs> mind got to going. He was like, oh, hold up. I know this ain't that bitch Anya. I told y'all this in the beginning when he found out about Anya and her and then her actually showing up. Ta- Tariq was going, Tyreek. Tariq? Is it Tariq? I'm Tariq. sorry. Tariq St. Patrick. He a man. Tariq, man Tariq, Tariq is going to bang Anya out. She replaced Lauren. He got to have three. And she kind of favors Lauren. He has to. You know what I'm saying? Right? He got to, just like in the first show, he has to have three. Just like Ghost had to have two. What'd you say? He got to have a holy trinity. Of yeah, he got to. Every, when Lauren left, he had to find another one. Everybody knew it. He got Effie. Who gonna, Let, who let's not, let's not forget, Effie, Effie is still in the fold somehow. But she was ready to witness yeah, that nigga be murdered. You know you got to have the toxin when this kind of in and out. 
Then you got Diana, the one like you keep Catwoman. She's like Catwoman, isn't she? Or, 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 or Black Cat from Spider Man. And Diana, the one that you kind of keep a distance, but you got. I ain't gonna be the one he's trying to get close to. Hold on, keep this as superhero so our, our fans can understand it. So also, so I can. So so like, Effie, hey, dude, I know so, so, so Effie is like Black Cat or Catwoman, right? She's a sneaky girl. They 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 rock with each other. It's just she, she will betray your ass if she need to. But she, she'll tell you she's doing it like that's what we do. She said okay. it this episode. We kind of okay. do this. So Diana, who 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 would she be for Peter Parker? Who would she be for Peter Parker or for Bruce Wayne? Right? Maybe. Or maybe. you can take just Superman. Is is she Lois Lane? Is she really Lois Lane? Nah, it's gotta be a little less than Lois. Would it be Diana's less than Lois? Lois Lane. Yeah, yeah. She, she she had more of a distance. She the one he got pregnant on, on kind of on accident, but he got to keep her around. We don't know that for sure. It could still be Selene. I I they did not. They did not. No, fifty do. I've watched BMF in like five five different versions of power. He don't go too iffy after. He just set it up where you be confused. Like, oh, Selene, she went to his house. No, That's Tariq, true. I got you. And then he doesn't switch it back. He has never okay. switched it back. Now that was, now I will okay. you this. He will change up his style. Bitch, he will change up his style if he switched it back. So who is Diana in a comic book universe to you? Uh, who a Flash girlfriend name? Uh, 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 the black one or the... Or <laughs> Basically the black one, too. She, what are they, they color switched. I forgot her name. So she's not very memorable. Uh, are you typing in Flash girlfriend? Are you typing that in on, you, on Google right now? Yes. I'm trying to see. Not uh, Which one is it? Not that one. I actually had a few of them, but which one was I I'm looking for? We don't care about Zuntan. Iris, man. Yeah, Iris, Riss. that's who's she's not name. Iris. She's yeah. not Iris. Yeah. Well, she I feel like TV Iris. Show. I feel like she Iris is she closer to Barry she than she the TV show Iris, the one that's on the TV show, not the one that come. The one in the TV show was like they just like they was they were separate for a long time, and then something happened, and they had to get together. I can't, I can't buy that. I, you know what? We're gonna have it to leave forced. it. To, we're gonna have to leave it to the comments. Or, or the chat to let that's us know. Like, oh, yeah, do a black TV if, show. If, I know that's probably what you're more. If Effie is Catwoman slash Black Cat in superhero, wh- who is Diana? Who do y'all think? Let us know because she could be the Lois Lane. She could be loyal. I believe. Oh, I, I got to go. Oh, who you got? 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 Uh, Damian Wayne's mother. But She's not evil enough for that. That would be more like Effie. Effie is trying like, to kill him multiple times. That be what, that's, that's Effie all day long. She, the only thing they have in common is the baby mama aspect. Other than that, Diana, that literally, Diana probably put him in the most dangerous situation. Well, Effie was also assisted in the same situation. Though. But she didn't want that. No. She set it up. She explained She Bruce Wayne back in the wanted that. <laughs> Yo, she gave the name to Tammy Egan. That's a way to get Tariq the most out of anybody. How does she know about Tommy Egan, by the way? That's what I want to know, too, because that's a dangerous thing. Tommy Egan was 100% going to kill Tasha. Like, <laughs> there's no so way Tommy sad. ever made a Facebook, nor did Kate Egan. <laughs> so she's, a fan. she's like, who was the most dangerous person in... in Tariq's life that we can put against him to make him want to kill my mom. That sounds crazy. <laughs> and then she's like, my name is Monet's Todd. I'm like, why would you tell me your name? Tell Tommy this is where Tasha is. I'm like, this is what? That ring doorbell thing just still just don't sit with me right. <laughs> she, she bought the best red wig in all of New York. <laughs> Wait, why do you, Monet? Why do you have a thing? Why does see marriage? That's how marriage. My okay. True but y'all story. tell me who that is and who done tank and who um Anya is. Y'all can tell us on the comment. True st- Anya. We don't know yet. We don't know the dynamic. We don't know the dynamic yet because she could be like uh Miss Betty Brand from Spider Man. She just like just a careless bystander. She really don't know what's going on. She don't even know. She probably barely know her. Kind of like Lauren. Except for Lauren did show where the secret stash should be. I I I don't know. Yo, listen, Lauren was the most loyal to Tariq out of anybody. She had I, every I, reason to put him in jail. And she I think still, <laughs> <laughs> like this man, 
This man, like, no, you told me you wasn't a thug. You told me you wasn't like that. And yo, okay. my whole life, my parents' life was in state three times because of your ass. Let's so let's 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 put this to rest. Um, hold on real quick. Let me make a caption for this. Uh and, and, and uh, this will be its own separate video. Why are we talking? Y'all can look at this to make y'all feel better. You know what I'm saying? Keep uh-huh. the viewership up. Keep the viewership up, you know what I mean? If you do like this, you know what you can do. You can like and subscribe. Um <laughs> oh. and then what uh you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's play this game. Who you got? All right. Lore? Do you have Effie, Diana, or Lauren? Easy. Not Lauren. even not even if you're Tariq. Just what if you're just a regular guy? Lauren. The other two. First you go, off, you go, Effie, you go to work every day. <laughs> Effie life, Effie like, hey, listen, I need three thousand dollars right now. We gotta do some crazy shit <laughs> to get this money. He's like, oh shit, I gotta do some crazy shit. Diana family is gonna can't gonna meet you and instantly try to kill you because they got like some okay, weird okay, okay let's let's break Lauren it. has a rich wealthy family. Let's break it down like I'm this and still holds it down even if I screw over a hundred thousand dollars. Let's break it down like this: main chick, side chick. Bottom chick, who is it? How do you do this? How do you break we it down? The wife and- so here's the description. So so main chick is you know that's your girl. That's who you in public with. Laura. Side chick. Okay. Uh, all right. We can agree there. And then, uh, then you have the the side chick that's down to like you know she cool. She she almost the main chick. And then you got like the bottom one that's just you know she do the stuff that other people won't do. So, so we got Lauren, Lauren's wifey. If it would be, if it wifey, would be sick, if it would be sick sad. Effie's got to be side. So Diana's just a. Effie would be the one you have fun with, but you know, like yo, when I get tired, this I gotta go home. <laughs> I I can never come back. <laughs> like listen, she's like that go. wild card. Is that and, is that a bottom chick or is that a your favorite side chick? Which one is that? The bottom chick got to be Diana because I'm sorry, your family situation is horrible. I don't need to go through all this drama with this mental illness that y'all got going on. So, 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 so you don't have the baby with the baby mama. I mean, with your girl, right? With your man. And then you definitely don't have the, the you definitely don't have a baby by the like wild side chick. Yo, that no, that's going to lock you in a while. But you then forever. it's your bottom one that it happens to every nigga, don't it? It's always the bottom <laughs> bitch that always get the baby. Don't, ain't it? it ain't even a dime that's bad, by the way. It just it's your not family, that, no, 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 no. Your just, family situation make you hard to deal with. Like, in, like you tell her every your day. Your mama had home. you selling drugs, and you knew how to whip cocaine at like five years old. Your life is different. Like you cooking coke, <laughs> you cooking coke while wearing Fendi. I'm <laughs> so your life is different. Your why brother, do you have is, a, why do you your, have a fur coat on? Your brother is like a killer who just shoots people just because he's mad randomly one day. Who's the most toxic between Effie? If Diana, if Effie's toxic, or is it not Diana? Because like, listen, Diana's situation again is her family situation. See, see, with Diana, you got to Effie, Effie is by herself alone. Effie's by herself. That's cool. And she just a wild with her, card, right? Diana and the is, with her is she might turn on you as like some attractive, like oh, this is hot, bro. She didn't fool it. Like Bro. she the type that's gonna tie Spider Man up and say, "If you get out of this, I'll see you later." You know what no, I'm saying? Listen, like Kane, be- Kane Simpson paid her whole college tuition, and she still wants to re- who put her in jail. And like, this is cool. Now let me set you up. And then, and then she was like, and then in this seat, she's like, "Ain't that what we do to each other?" I'm like, and then Mike, and then Michael Ely has the nerve to call them up and coming, although he paid for a whole semester of Stansfield. <laughs> up and coming drug dealers. No, just think about this, Joe. I want y'all to think about this too. Kane paid her tuition and she's like, that's cool. I appreciate it. While Tariq put her in jail. And then she sets Tariq up to get shot. And then at the end of the beginning of the season, like, ain't that what we do to each other? I'm like, what? Oh, that's <laughs> I can't lie. That's kind of a sexy toxic. <laughs> and then that's why she decided. Man, she... I'm in jail because this bitch. I can't wait till I get out. Go. Then you put her, out of it. 
<laughs> you, put, you put her in jail and some weird shit going on. You know what I'm saying? That's your relationship. That's get, her in, get her in trouble with the IRS. This stupid ass nigga Joe that got in trouble with That's the a good show. Look, like, it's the reason people are trying to You don't really want it. Is that, but, is that what this is? Is Effie and Tariq really Scarface? The blue face. I mean, blue face and Krishan. That it might is. Be true. It's like, like they set each other in jail. They almost gave each other a shot. That's what they do. And then she said in the show, ain't that what we do? <laughs> That's what we do. That's our thing. And I'm like, this is toxic. I don't really want this in my life. You can never be a main chick. I'm not marrying you. But it's kind of fun when you're young. Now I'm 30. I don't want this. I don't know. 20, no. 21 would be like, this is the most exciting moment in my life. Oh, 21. <laughs> 21 with this, with these three dynamics going on at once. Oh. I'm I just was, waking up. I'm just waking up for the bullshit. And everybody like y'all talk. Listen, when you're 21, you just want to have an interesting life so you can tell stories when you go. When you hit 30, you're gonna be like, I don't ever want I, to ever have that happen again in my life. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> but 21, this is exciting. I don't know. I might get robbed by her friends today. And I might tell her to get robbed by my cousins. <laughs> it's, like the, it's, it's, it's like the craziest four play of all time. Like, yeah, we, I, I was excited. I was excited to not get robbed today by any of your friends. And we just link up at the middle at the end of the night and like, man, <laughs> wow, you didn't betray me today. I might tomorrow. And oh, and the day's not over yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's, yeah, 21. I'm I'm I have energy for that. 22, <laughs> I have energy for that. Probably up until 27. At 28, I'll probably start like pfft. all right, man. Let's get kind of old, man. We've been doing this for seven years, man. <laughs> You'd have had two babies on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> that's the type of shit that the type of girl be on. But blue, but blue face and blue face a toxic dude too. I ain't literally a toxic dude, but it's kind of fun to just be in there. Like, but at the same time, a- after a while, you'd be like, yo, listen, Damn I don't man. feel like dying today. You know what I'm saying? Risking my life is not fun. I don't feel like defending <laughs> myself today. I don't feel like going to the police. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't feel like having random drug dealers at your cousins come meet me. But then we got Diana. Everybody like, why don't you like Diana? It's because Diana ain't toxic. She the one you probably would know with no condom and be like, hey, she's a nice, sweet girl. But her brother might kill me. <laughs> and her father might kill me. Her mother might kill me. Her other brother might kill me. Her cousin might kill me. Well, I'm cool with the big brother. <laughs> but- I mean, let's talk, about, let's talk about Nurse J, Nurse Jazz, Nurse whatever. Like, she might be like, this family's ruined be- all because of you. She might be the one that's snapping. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you got too many people in that family that just might don't have a problem with killing. Then, then you got like her, uh, her first baby daddy. He might shoot me too. Mecca. <laughs> and he ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's wild. You know what I'm saying? I can't, it's too much going on. And then his girlfriend might come out of nowhere and try to kill me. Where did your girlfriend come from? <laughs> like, I didn't even know you had a girlfriend. I don't even, I knew you three episodes, dog. Noma is the most unknown factor of all time. Where did you come from? Why are you trying to kill me? Like, cause you I, messed I'll, up. Cause you you got over on her her step her other her brother's father. And I'm like, okay, see this is why you don't date her. So wait, so Mecca is Anya's dad, right? I'm guessing. And then wait, so and, really and, and Mecca didn't father yeah. any other children. No, Mecca fathered. So her brother would be the Hooper. Yeah. Oh man. See this. this see what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Diana's life is. See this is what we're talking about. Effie ain't got nobody. Ain't nobody. You just My know you got. Brother is your brother. You know what I'm saying. All you gotta do in your life is worry about Effie. You ain't gotta worry about nobody. <laughs> With Diana, you a sweet girl and all, but I had to worry about strange factors that I didn't even know was a part of this. I didn't yeah. even know your. I didn't even know your mother's first love had a girlfriend that wanted to kill me. We was just trying to take <laughs> over blocks, and now we're dealing with international cr- criminals. <laughs> I'm saying I didn't even know he, they had this kind of relationship. Y'all telling me to go to Italy for this white business because I know Italian and they want to see a nigga speak Italian. I, <laughs> what is this? This show is off the rails. And if you don't believe, no, me. hold on. Ask, 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 ask this one last question, Zelme. When did this show get off the rails? Probably when Mecca got. When did this go from uh, uh, Tariq getting high and losing his virginity to this? <laughs> we had it. By the way, I had to do this to end this show. My brother, this is the every. 
I promise you, every black person who ever been in the suit has been in this situation where a nigga tell us about some stop the violence campaign. Some, and, I need and, a, and I need a nigga like you to just come around. Hey, hold on. First and foremost, are you taking shots at me right now, my nigga? So you didn't, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta stop the I violence. literally have a stop the violence basketball tournament every summer. Do you get in a suit and just start shaking hands with random black dudes you see? And like, no, you it's, usually, it's usually in some vans and the tiny pants. But yeah, I'm and starting to see what you're saying. I just noticed that <laughs> the niggas do be talking about stop the violence. They, yeah, uh, every time, bro. And, okay. and then you come out, the nigga got a P, fake PPP loan that you got to deal with that you didn't <laughs> know you were part of. And then you're like, oh, yeah, the government after you, dog, because you yeah. signed up with me and yo, I put your name on it, not mine. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck are you talking Like, I thought we were just saving kids. Yeah, and you end up in litigation for years. <laughs> yeah, that's how it happened. I really did with a street dude to do stuff. Did you or that. did you not put on this non for profit <laughs> for profit? I really did with a street dude to do a stop the violence campaign, like Joe said, with some skinny. The well, dude in the hey, suit is on hundred percent. The hold dude on. in the suit gonna set me up for a PPP fake loan for a fake company with some like assets from out of the country. I don't know nothing about it. My name is in charge of that month. Wait, listen. Our stop <laughs> the violence was to bring awareness to violence. See, Joe has a real not a PPP loan non profit. With some offshore money that somehow my name is on instead of his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, see, I there, see. We have a legitimate stop the violence basketball tournament, and all proceeds go to awareness of stopping the violence. And y'all are asking right now, how does this relate? Because that nigga gonna know Kane, and he gonna know Kane, Diana's Kane's sister, and then he gonna try to get me. Yeah. <laughs> by default like, hey you're a rich brother your daddy was running for mayor <laughs> and that's how life goes who knew that Kane would just have to go into a James Bond situation after trying to shoot did, he, did, Kane, did Kane know that he was about to stop, like, stop pushing up on corner boys and like now I gotta go to this Met Gala later so man I holla at after, you after trying to shoot his brother in the middle like a, under a bridge <laughs> like, hey I'm gonna shoot my brother right now she's like hey I need you to come over here what are you doing I got some family business. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. But so. y'all know the life of them and all of those. Same shit. Same shit. Different day. That's how and, true. And, and but also the question that everybody asks, that don't change either. These niggas. <laughs> Play when he drops the snow bunny. I don't support black men who date out the race. So until Bronny James stops bunny hopping, I can't do it. I'm happy for him and his father, though. If Bronny James stops bunny hopping, if he doesn't stop bunny hopping, I can't support that. No snow bunnies, no sand bunnies, no salsa bunnies. No salsa, no sand.